guys and good morning. It is currently 5.59 a.m. Today is the first official week of January. So I thought we'd get into a little reset routine. We do a little declutter. We do a little reflection. And I would show you guys how to reset for the new year. Now I am going to just finish my morning routine. We're going to have this coffee, read my Bible, work out, breakfast, vitamins, the whole nine yards. Now that I'm done with breakfast, it is now time to take my morning vitamin. This time every year, people make unrealistic resolutions and daunting goals. But what we need to focus on the most during this time is building daily habits that stick. I take Ritual Essential for Women ages 18 plus because it's the first women's multivitamin that I found that I actually like. I was literally searching for one forever and all the ones that I would try would either make my skin break out or they would make my tummy hurt, but this one has been a game changer. Essential for women ages 18 plus is a clean, high quality multivitamin to help fill key nutrient gaps in the diet. It can be difficult to maintain a well-rounded diet around the holidays. I devour the pumpkin pie at Christmas, okay? which is why it is so important to supplement with a multivitamin to help meet daily nutrient needs. I love Essential for Women ages 18 plus because it makes supporting foundational health easy with its two daily capsules that I can take any time of day with or without food, but I just prefer to take mine after breakfast. I also love the ingredients that Ritual uses. They share the sources and suppliers of their key ingredients, so I have peace of mind knowing what I'm putting in my body every single day. It's also gentle on the stomach and can be taken with or without food. This new year, commit to a new daily ritual with 40% off your purchase. This sale is for a limited time, so make sure you take advantage of it by using my code AshleyH40 for 40% off using the link in my description below. This vitamin is usually $33, but right now it's under $20 with this code. If you've been thinking about trying this vitamin, now is the time. All right, we have reached the moment in this reset where we are going to declutter and clean. I'm gonna turn on some worship music and we are going to get rid of old things. I'm gonna go through my bathroom cabinets, my makeup. We're going to get rid and donate old clothes and wash off whiteboards from the last year. Like go through my desk, go through my closets. Okay, those are a little scary. It's gonna be super productive and you can do it with me, okay? I know this part I do not look forward to like every single year, but Let's turn on worship music together. Let's declutter together. Now it is time for reflection. So this is at the time of the year where I really prioritize getting in the secret place with God and praying to the Lord, seeking 
the Lord. Fasting, this is a time I really recommend you fast because if God is the one who knows where we're going this year, and if God is the one who knows the plans that he has for us this year, why in the heck would we not look to him first to guide our year? I think so often we look inward and we go, okay, what are my goals? What do I think I should do? What do I want? This is a time where we don't want to look inward and look at what we want and what our goals are and like look inside ourselves. We need to look to the one who knows where we're going and say, God, I don't want my will to be done. I want your will to be done for me this year. So this is a time of the year where I typically will not be on social media that much, which, you know, it's hard for me because it's literally my job. But this entire week, I'm not even going on Instagram. Like I'm fasting from Instagram. This entire week, I am focusing. I am praying to the Lord and saying, God, lead me, guide me. Show me the way I should go. I love what Psalms 25 says. I'm going to read it for you guys. Psalms 25 says, Show me the right path, O Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Lead me by your truth and teach me. For you are the God who saves me. All day long, I put my hope in you. Some of y'all, you have no idea what is ahead for 2024. You have no idea what goals you're going to go after. You don't know what habits you're gonna focus on. Like, you don't know. You don't know. And maybe you're overwhelmed because like everyone's telling you to go plan your goals, do your vision board, all the things. You know what you need to do? You need to seek the Lord, period. Like, I have got to learn that. I've had to learn that over all my goal setting and vision and all that. It's like, I gotta seek God because if God is the one who is going to give me vision, then I need to seek him first. I don't need to look inward. I need to look to him to provide direction, to provide guidance, to show me what to do this year. I'll give you guys actually a brief testimony. So this past year, I had several goals that I made in January. And I said, I'm gonna start a podcast. I said, I'm going to move out of my house. Okay, I, those were like two of my top goals. I wanted to move into an apartment by myself and I wanted to start a podcast. This is just whole testimony, so get ready. Around like end of January, I felt the Lord stir in my heart, you need to start a team. And it was one of those things where I was like, oh, okay, like I'll do it. I'll get to it this year, but like I really want to move out and I really want to start a podcast, right? And come February, I went to this retreat. It was like a leadership retreat. And I'm literally, like everyone was like going and socializing, whatever, and I just felt from the Lord to just be alone in the secret place all day. Like I literally spent hours alone with the Lord and I just felt him tell me, you need to start a team. And then that night, I remember this so vividly, I couldn't even go to sleep because the Lord was telling me every single person he wanted me to hire. He want, He told me the kind of person he wanted me to hire. He told me the kind of job that they would do. It was like so crazy. And guys, I'm not like, I never thought of myself as like a CEO girly. Like I never thought of myself as a boss. I never thought of myself as a business person. Like literally, I never have ever thought about myself that way. But the Holy Spirit was downloading downloading. This is why it's so important that you seek the Lord because it is from him that you will be getting the direction that you're craving to get in your life. So the Lord is just downloading this. So I'm just by myself and it is so profound. I can't even go to sleep. I start writing it on my note. I actually have an entire note that I have. Yeah, this was it. <laughs> Still going. Okay. So the Lord just downloaded. Then Come February 19th, it was like a week later, I'm back from the retreat and I'm like, all right, well, I guess I need to start a team now, but like, you know, what if I did that after I move out? What if I did that after I start my podcast? Oh, Lord, why aren't you telling me to start a podcast? I'm at this prayer night, fam. I'm at this prayer night and I brought a friend there because it's a prophetic prayer night where basically prophecy is where you just... It's, it was a night where like 
our friends and I, we got together and we just allowed the Holy Spirit to come and move and be like, all right, God, whatever you want to say through one another to each other, like I, we pray that this would be a place of exhortation. People would feel uplifted in this space. And what we do is we just like let, we just like listen to the Lord and we allow the Lord to speak to us. And then we just start like prophesying over each other. And if we're wrong, like it doesn't really matter because we're all friends and like, if it's, you know, if it doesn't hit, like it doesn't hit. So anyway, we're all just like soaking in the presence of God. We're in this room and I brought my friend to this prophetic prayer night because I'm like my friend, she really needs a word from God. So I bring her and I'm sitting there and all of a sudden this girl looks at me and she says, Ashley, I feel led to pray for you right now. And my guy friend was like, Ashley, when I look at you, I see the word team. And I feel that the Lord is going to bring people around you, powerful people around you to start a, to, to fuel the mission that you're doing. He is going to like, you're not, you're not just, you're going to be like a CEO. Like he's just prophesying this over me, over my team. I had already felt this. God had already told me in the secret place. It was just confirmation. It wasn't like I was hearing this for the first time. Okay. So they start praying for like 30 minutes. I have the entire voice memo just around my team that God was going to bring discernment around who to hire. I had like 300 applications that God was going to help me and there was going to bring there was going to be multiplication and expansion of this mission that I was already doing with a team. And that there were going to be like flaming darts into the enemy's territory th through the work of this team. Okay. Now I'm on fire. Now I'm ready to go. I'm like, all right, I had my confirmation. I start going to the drawing board and I literally get off social media really and I'm just focused on building systems for this team because like I have to train people on things that I had been doing for three years. Okay, if you think it couldn't get any crazier, I am in church March 19th, one month after I get that word. And I'm in church and it's like a moment where we're all just like sitting there and we're just like listening to the Lord. And our pastor, he looks at me out of the entire congregation. He says, Ashley, I don't know what's going on, but when I look at you, I see the word team. And I see that God is going to bring multiplication and expansion through a team in your business. I see that there's going to be people that you are going to raise up as leaders on your team. God is going to bring you discernment on your team and like started literally saying the exact same thing that my guy friend had said one month prior. And what's crazy is there was a girl in that room that was also like in that room at church that was also in the prayer night. And she looked at me, she was literally in the same row as me. And she said, Ashley, that was so crazy because that was verbatim what was said over you, what was prayed over you one month ago. The entire year, fam, I devoted to starting a team. That was like, like I thought I knew at the beginning of the year what I wanted. I thought I knew what God had for me in the beginning of the year. But after like fasting, after prayer, I always fast in the beginning of January. I'm not trying to flex, but I'm just saying like, I recommend y'all to fast and pray. Like give up sugar, give up dairy, get, do a Daniel fast. I have a whole video on a Daniel fast. Do like a, a juice only fast, fast, give up food to hear from God, okay? Because yes, we can give up social media, all that stuff, but, and I know some of us have health conditions, but biblically speaking, when people would fast in the Bible, they would give up food. So why are we trying to fast, hear from God, seek God, and not give up food? Like, I don't get it. It's supposed to be uncomfortable, and it's not supposed to be a diet. It is supposed to be, like, it is supposed to be fasting accompanied by prayer. So if you are just giving up food and you're not even praying and asking the Lord to draw near to you and seeking the Lord and seeking his direction for your year, then like you might as well just call it a diet. But you need to fast and you need to pray because I'm telling y'all, I don't think I would have gotten that confirmation. Like God literally told me what he wanted me to do last year. And 
It wasn't to start a podcast. It wasn't to move out. I am literally in the same stinking place that I was this time last year. I still have not started a podcast. I know so many of you guys want me to start a podcast, but I'm not going to do it unless God tells me to do it. Period. Like you will not see anything from me that God is not leading me to do. Like that is my prayer right now. Like it is beginning of January. I think I have an idea of what the Lord is leading me to do, but I'm not sure. I know last year I did start a team and last year my team and I, we, we did do incredible things together. There were so many things that God did last year, but that's like the biggest testimony that I can take is like, literally guys, like God provided seven people on my team to help me. He provided like the resources to build this team. He provided like I've never considered myself to be a leader, but like he provided the help that I needed every time I felt weak to lead well. And he still has to provide help every day because I still don't consider myself like a leader, you know? I just can't reiterate enough how important this part is where you start your year off with just saying, God, all I want is your will. Like all I want is to do your will. All I want is to seek your direction. All I want is to seek your face. Like guide me, lead me on the perfect path for my life. Like that is what we need to start this year off with. And so right now I'm going to reflect. I'm going to dream with God. I'm going to work on my prayer board a little bit. I have a whole video on my prayer board and how to make a prayer board. If you haven't already looked at that, you need to go check that out. But let's, let's reflect and let's dream with God together. And all you got to do is say, God, guide me, direct me. It's a simple prayer that you just pray every single day until you know you have that moment like I did last year in March where I was like, there is no way, no how this isn't God. Or even in February, I was like, how could someone have prayed that after I knew that that's what I needed to do? I mean, God will tell you, God is faithful to answer your prayers. If you are praying and seeking him for what college to go to, for what to major in, for, you know, what sports team to join, for what to, what friends to have, for what church to go to, for your relationship life, your love life, for your kids. Like maybe you have a kid who's just really far from the Lord. Like I need you to know if the Lord is leading you in that direction, like, to pray for that thing, just start praying, start interceding, start asking God every single day, start a fast, like pray and seek God on that area. And I promise you, God will move in that area. I promise, I bet my life on it. God will move in that area because he is faithful to fulfill his promises. And when we draw near to him, he always draws near to us. And this is a time for us to seek him and put him first. leave.